We thought the reflectant worked pretty well in the attic, so we're gonna go ahead and install it on the garage door too. So temperature testing, we can see that there's a significant decrease in temperature, about 15 degrees. So we gotta figure out how to get the reflectant on there. I don't wanna use a bunch of tape, so we may move some of the brackets around and then just put the reflectant on there. So we'll see how that goes, because we need to get this thing as cool as possible. Okay, so we've removed the brackets and what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the reflectant and just go ahead and pop some holes where the screws go and then we'll put everything back together. I've got tons of help from my partner in crime, Ashley. So let's finish part one. The other thing we decided to do, instead of cutting everything up into pieces and then kind of taping things down, if you will, is we decided to take the brackets off. And I think you had said that doing the brackets the second way was better. Mm -hmm. So they're just loosened. They're not completely removed. And that works out better because you're not blindly trying to find where you're screwing back in it. We basically were able to loosen some of the bolts on one side and then pull the radiant barrier up through the gap and then screw everything down, which worked great. So you ready for the second phase, Ashley? Yes. <laughs> and with that, it should start to get much, much, much cooler in here. So let's see what we have for phase two. So I need three of these. There you go. <laughs> Just stand all three of them up. <laughs> oh. Coming in hot. Ta -da. So Ashley and I just picked up some of this insulation and we're gonna be installing this insulation in the ceiling and around the walls. Who decided to do this? Huh? You. You rolled out of bed <laughs> at 7 a.m. and said, we're doing the insulation today. And I was like. Uh, so yeah, it's it's super hot. It sucks. I hate insulation. As you can see, I'm all, you know, covered up and everything. And uh, I'm very itchy. I'm just not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super itchy. I'm just not. I'm just not. She could deal itching. with the itchy. Yes. Yeah. So we're hoping tomorrow it'll be much cooler in here supposed to be 100 degrees outside so I'm not that confident about inside. Well we got one more thing to make it a little bit cooler so. Okay. <laughs> So we're at the point where we have to install the insulation on this side of the garage. And we have this beauty right here. This is our Datsun 510, which we've also been working on. And I don't wanna step on it or accidentally scratch it or fall over onto it. So 
we ran over to Harbor Freight and we picked up a couple of these. These will let us slide the car out of the way and move the car around so that way we can get to the part where we need to install the insulation and Ashley's gonna help me knock out the rest of this. This is awesome. This is the weirdest thing I've ever done. Push a car sideways? Yeah. Okay. So we had to go back to the store to pick up insulation. We needed a bit more. And while we were there, we ended up getting one of these. Hopefully this works better. The manual one where I'm having to actually nail in the staples with my hand is just killing my wrist. Ashley's done a couple as well. And so I think this might be easier. I can probably use my left or I can use my right to get the staples in and hold this up. So we're nearly done and we should have some results pretty soon. All right, so as you can see, we've got some of the insulation up at the top here, and the garage feels like it's a little bit cooler in here. So let's check out the temperature. So I actually have a part where there's some insulation that hasn't been installed yet. So we'll take a look at the difference of the temperature between the two. All right, so this wall that doesn't have insulation is about 85 degrees. If I move over to a portion that doesn't have insulation above the ceiling, we can see that it's already 104 degrees. If we move over to where the insulation is, it's about 84 degrees. And then I'm gonna change just to temperature reading and see what the temperature is in the garage. It looks like it's about 81 degrees. So the temperature overall is slightly lower after the sun has been up for a couple of hours. So we do want to get the garage even cooler than what it is now. So we've got one last thing to do. Here it is. It's a Toshiba portable air conditioner unit. What we're gonna have to do is get the exhaust for this guy plumbed to the outside of the garage. So let's get that done. had to switch to a couple of different blades on the jigsaw because I just couldn't get through this siding. This stuff is tough, but we ended up getting through it with a metal blade. We also picked this up here. This is just a exhaust with a flapper as well as a grate so no critters are trying to sneak through. We're going to put this right into place like so. We'll put some screws here. We'll make sure everything is nicely sealed with outdoor weather sealing caulk. And we should be able to fire this thing up and see how cool we can get the garage. So we've got the AC unit installed. We have a few more pieces of insulation to put in the wall. Once we do that, we'll leave this thing running for about an hour or so and come back with the results. 
All right, so now that we have all the insulation installed on the walls and on the ceiling, minus a part that I'm working on here, plus the reflectant drum roll, brrr, the garage is able to stay around 78, 77 degrees with this running. I've had it running within the last hour or so, and it's about 90 degrees outside. So this is working pretty well.